My name is Katie and this is my dog Casey. She may appear in several clips throughout this video. My passion, for as long as I can remember, has been science and learning about the world and our universe. With scientific knowledge, we can improve the whole world! I started reading pretty early, and by the time I was four, I was excitedly reading children's encyclopedias. Awesome fact! What happens when a star gets old? Toward the end of its life, a star can become unstable. The two stars in the line are so close together that they share the same atmosphere. In the sixth grade, I started doing my own independent research and entered science fairs. I then discovered that another passion of mine was communicating my knowledge with others, so I created my own YouTube channel. This is from my first video, presenting my research on ammonia as an alternative fuel. We yield nitrogen gas plus water vapor plus energy in an exothermic reaction. Notice, no pollutants, no carbon impact. What could be better? In seventh grade, I did a research project on alternative energy using thorium, and I made five videos on this topic. As a result of this work, I was invited to speak at the Thorium Energy Alliance Conference in Chicago, Illinois. In the following years, I did research projects in computational biology and bioinformatics. I developed the BioAssistant, a new bioinformatics system to aid researchers in finding treatments for different diseases. With this work, I was selected as a top 10 national finalist in the 3M Young Scientist Challenge. I made two videos on this topic. One of my recent research projects was in the field of quantum computing. I developed Quasi, a new quantum programming language for future universal quantum computers. So far, I've made one video on this subject. Based on this work, I was selected as a semi-finalist in the Intel Science Talent Search. I was also selected as a 2016 Davidson Fellow. I recently released Quasi, including a quantum computer simulator capability I added to it, as open source software. It is available on GitHub at this address. Going forward, I plan to further explore my passion for science by pursuing a PhD.